You have spent years and years gathering the knowledge that you have today. You are a subject matter in your field and you have a lot of knowledge and experience and you do work hard, but you're still not getting the right amount of recognition because you feel others are getting more respect while you are being ignored. Does that sound like you? Oh yeah, I forgot. Hey, this is Vishal Sarkar, your practical public speaking mentor. And the problem that I see that most professionals face today is because of different things, they are being ignored. So they have a lot of knowledge and experience, but they don't get the right amount of eyeballs. They are not getting the attention. They are not getting the recognition. And because of that, their promotion gets um, stuck. Their career growth becomes slow. And a result of all of that, when you do come back home, you don't feel a sense of happiness. So probably your kids come around to play with you or your wife wants to come talk to you um, or you get some calls from the friends, but you're tired and exhausted because inside you're not happy. Right? So how do you overcome that? Well, in this video, you're going to pick up three specific ideas that you can use instantly in order to stop being ignorable so that you are not ignored anymore. It's impos be impossible to ignore. As I say it, when I coach people, IT professionals, project managers in my public speaking courses, which is not for everybody. We are very selective about who I uh, allow in my programs. But this is what I call it be impossible to ignore. So how do you do that? Here are the three tips. Number one, show up confidently. That's right, show up confidently. You see, most people don't have the right amount of confidence, right? They have the knowledge, they have the experience, but when they have to give a presentation in a meeting in front of uh, some senior managers in a boardroom, they panic. They have that stage fear. They feel nervous. They feel that anxiety in their body, in the heart. They, they feel like, ah, I can't do it. You know, can I delegate it to somebody else? Can I do it next week? Maybe, maybe, maybe I am not up for it. Or maybe you do go for that presentation and you do feel nervous in the initial few seconds and your first impression is not powerful. Well, in order to become unignorable so that nobody can ignore you, you have to upgrade that. You have to show up confidently. That's tip number one. Tip number two is show up regularly to add value. Add value. Show up to add value. Now, what I mean by value, I'm not talking about you just talking about your knowledge, look for opportunities to add value to people. See, there is a reason why a lot of people want to do what I do, you know, having a business empire, having time freedom, uh, making great amount of profit in the business uh, without having a huge team, just a few members of my team that are very close to me, um, that we are great in great bonding with, we have great bonding with. Um, most people want to do that, but they don't they don't get to that level because they never add value to the marketplace, right? So they are just looking to take, take, take when I'm focused more on, you know, giving, giving, giving. Like you're not paying anything to watch this video, probably, right? You're not paying me anything, but you're still getting value. And what happens many times is you, you get the value and you watch a few more videos, you, you know, read my emails and you feel, you know, I want to learn from this person because he knows what he's talking about. Now, my intention is not to you know, influence you to making a decision. My um, intention is more to add value on a regular basis because that's what I control. So think about how you can do that, how you, you know, maybe, maybe there is a meeting where you are not involved, maybe you are not giving a presentation, maybe you can go to the person who's presenting and ask, hey, do you need any help? Uh, can I can I open the PPT for you or can I bring a bottle of water for you? Um, he doesn't have to be a boss or manager. Like, you know, small little things that you do on a consistent basis to add value to people that makes you very, very valuable. And now people see you as an authority versus you being just a little employee in a company. Does that make sense to you? And the third tip is 
to constantly upgrade yourself that's right constantly upgrade yourself you might have heard this statement if you're not upgraded you're backdated that's absolutely right see if you don't water a tree what happens the tree in the beginning day especially the tree uh, dies or it doesn't have the water and and the leaves become dry and one day the tree is not green anymore it's whitish Right? You don't want to be you, you want to be green or you want to be whitish like a tree. So as a professional, you can have 15 years of experience, 25 years of experience or more, or maybe you have just less than 10 years of experience. That doesn't, doesn't matter. What does matter is you want to constantly upgrade yourself. When was the last time you upgraded your confidence? When was the last time you upgraded your mindset? Because if you're not doing that, it's a challenge and people will always uh, underestimate your value. And you don't want that, right? You don't want people to underestimate your value. So constantly on a regular basis, what you do is go out there and upgrade yourself. Take some classes, hire a mentor, work with them, develop more confidence, develop more leadership, develop more management skills. It's not about just getting a certification. That's not upgradation. That's more like a certification. That's more like a validation to show other people versus you working on your inner stuff, right? Or working on your mindset, working on your productivity, working on you being a better parent. When you do that on a regular basis, people can't ignore you anymore. And that's exactly what happens to many of our clients who I work with in my courses. They double their salary, they double their income in a matter of 12 months, sometimes even um, earlier than that. If you just follow what I tell you, I'm not promising that you will. it will happen to you because I don't know your work ethic. I don't know if you fit into my level of deep level work uh, and the fun that we have. Uh, some of the people that we work with, they triple their productivity. That's exactly what happened to Mahesh, one of our clients, tripled his productivity. Previously, he was spending around 45 minutes a day with the family. Now he's spending you know, close to two and a half hours with his family. How did he do it? Showed him the formula. He upgraded himself and so can you. So these are the three tips. Number one, um, uh, show up confidently. Number one, show up to add value. And number three, um, constantly upgrade yourself. Those are some of the best tips I can give you for today. My name is Bishal Sarkar, always reminding you that confidence is not about perfection, it's all about connection. <laughs>